British holidaymakers have been warned to allow 10 weeks to receive a new passport if they are planning to travel abroad this summer. The wait time for a new passport was extended from 3 to 10 weeks in 2021. In this video, we talk about when to best apply for a passport and what to do to reduce passport delays. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. As overseas travel began to resume in 2021, an unprecedented demand for new passports resulted in a massive backlog. To give the passport office a brief respite, the government extended the deadline by which applicants should expect their new passport from three weeks to 10 weeks, which is three times longer than the original processing time. According to The Telegraph, Home Secretary Sweller Braverman told MPs this week that demand for new passports continues to be elevated and volatile. We expect elevated demand for passports throughout the year, and demand can be volatile, so customers should continue to allow 10 weeks, she said. I urge people to apply in good time, and not at the last minute. The HMPO advises to apply for a passport far in advance of travel, keeping in mind the 10-week waiting window. Applying for a passport online and submitting a high-quality photo can also help reduce the chance of a delay. Applying for a passport online is also cheaper than completing a paper form. If you are planning an Easter break in Spain or Portugal, check if your passport is still valid for travel and make sure to renew your passport as early as you can if necessary. It is recommended to renew your passport around six to nine months before it is set to expire. You will need at least three to six months of validity on your passport in order to travel internationally. Those who need a new passport should not delay and submit their application now. If you need assistance, reach out to IAM. The link is on our blog post. Last week, the government increased the cost of a passport renewal and new passport by almost 10%. A standard online application ordered domestically rose from £75.50 to £82.50 for adults and £49 to £53.50 for children. Postal applications rose from £85 to £93 for adults and £58.50 and to £64 for children. You can apply online or obtain a paper form from a post office, submit through the check and send service at a post office or attend an in-person appointment in London. It is important that you send the original documents to avoid further delays. If you need the passport urgently, you can apply for a more expensive, one-week fast-track service at £155 for adults and £126 for a child's passport. If you need a passport to travel urgently for medical treatment, or because a friend or family member is seriously ill, or has died, call the passport advice line instead. Do you need to renew your passport? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel 
check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.